Hey, do we know how much this is going to cost when we get it done? Well, I've got an answer about how and why. you doing now? I am denibbing. Denibbing. So you get these little tiny dust particles mm -hmm. and <clears throat> they just happen to show up and it's like it doesn't matter how clean the room is or how well I'm groomed up. I would just get them. Mm -hmm. So I go in and take them out first before I actually do a polish. So what I've done is I did a quick DA of 1000 and that shows me where they are. Oh. And so now I'm taking a wet block 1000 aluminum and just going to aluminum and like this. And then I'll do the whole thing with 15. But this way, it doesn't rip up the 15. You don't get scratches in your 15 from the thousand. So that's cool. Yeah, this is part of the process. I appreciate it. Yeah. <sighs> so this is uh, I, 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 Isaiah. Isaiah's <laughs> secondary panels. They're all done um, for high build. So Great. This is a new high build that we're using. It's a direct metal. So we're trying to a different process for this one. Great. And so far it's working okay. I'm going to start cutting these probably after I finish polishing this and then taping up this because I reworked this one this weekend. This side mm -hmm. came out beautiful. Started polishing on the back side and I ended up cutting through. So, oh, man. right there. So, I was taking oh. care of that run and it was in, it's enough to cause me to repaint it at a client. There's a good charge for it. That's, right. It was my mistake. Womp, womp. Womp, womp. So, I fix it. All right. That's what I'm doing. Great. Well, speaking of clients getting charged, we got a question, but I want Darren too. So. Yo, Dave. Yo. Where did he disappear? There he is. There he is. All right, both of you. I'll ask the question. What too. happened? <laughs> we got a question. We're going right out there right now. So here's the question. How? Like we've talked about basically what it costs to get a restoration, which you know, there's a pretty big range depending on what they want. Here's the other question though. How do we know what it's gonna be? How do we know, like how do we come up with an estimate? Uh, we don't know exactly how much it's gonna cost. What we're going off of is the approximate number of average hours that we've done in the past. Mm -hmm. you know, we've gotten faster a little bit, so we, we take that into account. Um, but until the car's done, I can't tell you a final price. We, we can like, eh, you know, cause a, a 15 minute Taking a, a nut off a shock tower mm -hmm. could turn into five and a half hours and cussing and torches and saws and stuff like that because we're dealing with rust. Yes. A lot of rust. So that's yeah. that's kind of the biggest thing is just if we're just taking a compilation of the hours that we think it's it's anywhere from on a lighter restoration about 650, 700, 700 hours on a full end custom 12, 15, 2000 hours. That's kind of what we're going after. Okay. Just, it takes time. All right. How about you, Darren? That's too standardized. Yeah. Look at that. Still, we throw that out the window too. That works <laughs> for a little bit, but then, so I guess the word, the, the bottom of our thing is customs, and the, where that comes into play is, uh, it's not Chevy where you take your brand new car back to, and there's X Y Z, and that mechanic walks to the parts counter and says, "I need X Y Z," and they go. And there's a big book that tells them how to put XYZ on and how they put XYZ on and how many hours it gets paid and they put that on and and then you come get your car it goes it doesn't work that way on any of these cars so with that said like he said we go off of what it what we've done like the average of the last three or four say like pans how much does it cost to put pans on well if the car had no rust problems and we took all the bolts off and they all came off without breaking off and we didn't have to drill all the bolts out so there's just so many things that go wrong with that. Bolt breaks off, we gotta drill it out. When we drill it out, we gotta do this. When we take the car off, next thing you know, you find rust on parts where you didn't think you had, on and on and on. So a good example is Isaiah's car. They came in, the paint looked okay. We blasted the car. There was 50 pounds of Bondo in different areas there. So boom, now you went from what you thought was zero body work, just paint the car again, to 30, 40 hours of body work. So, and we never saw that, and it's just, so there's... You can't see it till it's blasted. You can't see a lot of it, so yeah. it's a custom thing. So, 
And I, I get the question every day and it just floors me because people are like, what do you mean you can't tell me? We just can't, it's just the way it is. So it's just, and it's one after another. I mean, uh, was the car ever done right? You know, there's through 60 years of these little cars being used, uh, hippies have been in them and they've done, <laughs> took Coke cans and made, you know, this and, and wired stuff up with weed. And, I mean, it's just this on and on, you know what I'm saying? So. I mean, they took old, and, like... And it, and it worked. Yeah, they worked yeah. back then. But here I go back through the car, and we're like, hey, you know, it works. The car works great. But then when you, we put something new on it, you know, the hand-hammered-out piece of <laughs> tin wire that they made in the in the mountains of North Carolina they do don't work creative. anymore. So then we've got to go and put new pull new wire for this. Yeah. So it's just, there's so many things. It gets frustrating to a point. But, yeah, it's... I mean, we're actually, I guess, going to have to change our paperwork and add some stuff in there where it just says we don't know. Yeah. That's just the way it is. Which is unfortunate. I mean, it would be great if we could just mathematically go, oh, it's this. Yeah, and I mean, it just comes back. I mean, I've been sitting in my chair here going over trying to figure things out, and it really just comes back to that word. It's not, that's it. It's custom. It's not, we don't know. Because the parts car there, it's a 79 vert. Well, it was fuel injected. Well, a lot of fuel injection parts weren't working together. They don't make certain ones. So at some point, we had to be like, and and he he's good with it, so we yeah. call him and say, "Hey, listen, I don't want to keep throwing money at this. So instead of keep trying to get the fuel injection, why don't we switch it back over to carburetion?" He said, "Do it." And I gave him a ballpark approximate price of what those parts cost, which mm-hmm. is the only thing we do know. But we didn't know when we start taking the motor apart, this was going to not work, and we had to add yes. this. So, anyways, that it's every little thing goes. It's not that it's all problems; it's just right. you can't give a price. And to be honest, we part. eat a lot oh, yeah. of hours. Like, yeah, we do, and, and we're we going to start trying to figure that out because yeah. that's yeah, people. That's brutal. People don't get that part, but yeah, it's it's just a it's a frustrating thing. So going forward, it's just another thing. Is just it's you know you got to estimate on the high end. Just tell them this is the worst case scenario. We think uh, it may be think. the best case yeah, scenario. Maybe the best, or it may not be the worst. It's what right. we think at now is the worst. But anyways, that's the answer to that. There, yes. there just really isn't. And we've given a bunch of examples. So if you want to go back and look, uh, the Kripes car it was an example of that. They bought that Super Beetle for $6,000. It was running. They drove the car. Yep. It started up. It ran. The heat worked. The car looked good inside. The paint looked good on the outside. They brought it here. Uh, they wanted some floor pants put on. We go to pull the body off. The body itself to take off is a certain hours. Guess what? Now we can't find, like he said, the tower bolts. Guess why we can't find the tower bolts? Because they're covered in fiberglass. Why are they covered in fiberglass? Because the metal that's supposed to be there was gone. Yes. So we start peeling that back. The body comes apart. Next you know, it, the project is right. scrapped. It's a simple so, pan project. And they literally, not, you know. for those people, uh, the Kripes and their, bless them, they've been, you know, and they saw at that point, they bought the car for 6000 and spent several thousand with us on new parts up to that point where we found that problem, and they pretty much have to just be like, Pfft. right. So they found a new car that they're going to come in, and we're going to take the old, the new parts we bought. But anyway, so that's their worst case scenario. Yeah. They literally have a car they can't even use. And we've had people who had full restorations done elsewhere. They brought it in, and literally the car was held together by zip ties. Yeah, we had we had a Gia like that. Um, they, we got up on the lift, and we actually saw the Gia do this on the lift it was literally collapsing on itself and, and like it was it, a full restoration yeah, from some, somewhere and else it looked good from yeah. the outside but yep. once you like looked underneath it just like no nope. and literally zip ties are holding on some of these panels yep. yeah so it's, it's i brutal. mean it's just one of those things and you know it's i have to call people all the time and say or i get calls from hey i thought it was gonna be this or i thought you know it's just here's the thing too from us and i'll just say this because i say it to people when they come is and i don't mean it arrogantly but i have enough work I'm the shop manager here, and I have enough work. I have a whole bunch of cars, so I don't have to add anything to your car. We will never do it's that. It's not the type of shop, and there it's are not, shops out there, and lots of people get worried. I'm not like, hey, I got their car here. I'm going to tell them they need a motor. Right, or like when you go to the oil change, yeah. they're like, oh, you need this change. Yeah, exactly. That yeah, you, 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 you come in for we'll air in your tire, and they're like, hey, the reason your car doesn't it doesn't have air in your tire is because you need a new motor. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're not it's that not type of shop. That. I don't have time for that because I... Every one of these cars here, there's already a car waiting to fail their space and yeah. 20 behind each one of those. Right. So I, I'm just trying to do what I need to do on your car and move it. So when we get, when it gets to a point, it's not like I add anything. I'm, we're just, it's a hundred dollars an hour, no matter if we're right. painting the car. If anything, we're taking off, you know, yeah, we, so we literally, a lot, we so it's a just, lot of hours. I tell everybody now ahead of time coming in, that's, that's the way that is. I yeah. don't, I don't. I'm not sugarcoat anything. I tell yeah. you what, it, what we think it's going to be, and I don't. I'm not. I don't have the time to add anything. Yeah. So I mean, really, I've heard you guys talk to potential clients, and it's kind of like 
don't do this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I do try to talk people out of yeah. stuff too that they don't. It's going to cost yeah. more than you dream. Yeah, you know? and some of them, but then again, if they want it, we'll do but it. Some there's there's several it's, examples here of stuff right. we've done that I was like, but then you know, so but yeah, I'm not. This is not yeah. the shop where your car comes in here and I'm just throwing parts at it for no reason. <laughs> I don't have time for that yeah. and don't even really have the need to do that at all. Right. We got a lot of work. I'm I'm wanting to move cars out. So. Yeah. Nope. So anyways, right. hopefully that helps with a lot of that. Hopefully. You know, it's a mystery and it remains a mystery, but at least you understand why it's a mystery now. Yeah. If that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go see what else is let's going go on. Let's go see what we're going on. We got some cars going, moving okay. around here and new stuff. So we'll start out here real quick. We won't be out here long. We got a uh, Fergie 2, Mr. Ferguson's bug. His 65 Beetle is back on its chassis. Oh, look at so, that. You know, the car got painted with full, full polar. It's not a full restoration, but we pulled, the body got blasted and got painted, and he's got the undercoat, so it went back on there. It's just there temporarily because he might have us, depending on when he comes, he's coming to see it, and he might add some work that we might have. So we just have it temporarily bolted on there. We can pull it back off, but we had to put a new front beam on it, a narrow lower beam, um, a couple other things. So we're going to see what he wants to do from there. Uh, kill mats ready to go so it's back on there ready to go awesome. um we're still waiting on mr carlos to tell us if he wants to go on his car or not okay. this is the christ we were just talking about with uh their chassis they're coming so their car was the blue 66 yeah. uh vert that kind of got scrapped and this is their chassis which was also real rusted too so they're bringing a new car that we're gonna swap everything over so okay. we're kind of like starting over great on there so. riley on the trailer riley's in the trailer miss riley you're sitting in there waiting on your interior as soon as it gets here we'll knock it out the gagneys we got a couple things just to button up on it um it's just waiting on a couple things same thing with mr hersker we finally got his turn to mm. we got it running and we're tuning it up and getting a few little knick-knack things and he's actually out of town till the 19th anyways so he'll be coming to get it here in a week or so and it'll be going home Sweet. Oh. It's a sharp little bug. Yeah. So we'll go in here and see what we got. And you already saw what's going on in there. Mm -hmm. It's a maze of parts in there <laughs> of different cars, too. It's like paint by number in there. <laughs> we got Mr. Park's uh, 79, Mr. Park, or Mr. Park's daughter's car. We'll start it. So we switched this car over from from fuel injection to carburation. So okay. uh, we got to go. We got to do a little bit of tuning up. But it, hey, it Superman. Runs. Hello. Go ahead. <laughs> Up a little bit, but it's running. Go ahead, kill it. <laughs> Alright, so we got this So, anyways, uh, sounds good. Yeah, it's got a little exhaust leak, but um, so we're gonna put him back together, and, and her birthday is next month, so Ooh. we gotta hurry up and get that wrapped yeah. up. Yeah, um, we are uh, about halfway through on the Isaiah's pan, and like you said, the body he saw the pet body, mm -hmm. we're gonna see the main body on here. Um, about halfway through putting it back together um and getting some new parts on it she had some new wheels so we went oh. and took the tires got them mounted on them they're going back on there all new brake lines and blah 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 a bunch of new stuff on there um we'll go out here and see uh let me grab this while we're right here because we're gonna need that in a minute oh yeah we talked about that special here. delivery yeah um uh, we've got so that size ale's body and if you remember last week we found all that Bondo in it, so they had gone and done all the metal work. Jeremy had done and welded some of the fender nuts back in and, and did all that. And then it's all the rough metal, and now it's got to go into body work. Mm -hmm. So it's fixing to go back in the body shop today. Um, and he did all the welding on the luggage tray. There was a whole lot more holes than we originally thought once we started looking at it. So there was some on the bottom of the hmm. deal. So he got that all welded up. Like I said, it's fixing to go to the body. And, uh, We'll go there, Miss Bogan. We're waiting on the, the body to come back from paint. It got sent out the paint, and when it comes back, we'll put it back together. It's sitting there waiting. It's ready to go. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I think we've got. What we got? Yeah, we've got Mr. Cabral's. Let's go out here to Mr. Cabral Oligos. <laughs> Cabral Oligos out here. I love Cabral. how all the the, the bus parking yard. Yes, yes. So Mr. Cabral's finished up his old thing we had a little problem with the headliner so we got it going back up in there so great um we're doing final touch up and stuff we got his okay to or his uh, insurance and everything so we can start driving this so great that rounds out mr cabral hopefully it's going home soon so 
That's, uh, that's what we got going on this that's week. That's exciting. So. Well, show us what you got here. Okay, so we know we got our car show coming out. There Ooh, it is. We, got this we have today. flyers. Yay. Exciting. So there's our flyer October 22nd. Come there on it out. Is right there. All proceeds go to St. Jude's. Yeah, I can't beat that. So we're going to do a little more advertising than we usually do. We're going to have a little more things going on here than we usually do, too. So yeah. hopefully that uh, that all plays out into a lot more people coming. That so, would be fantastic. Um, we got room. Oh, yeah. We got a whole we got a whole neighborhood. Really, yeah, we do. So <laughs> to work with us. So we'll park people all over this place. I mean, we could probably know. even use this lot over here if we had to now that he's selling it. We could. We got all kinds of places. Yeah. We have sections of our car, car show. Right. You know what I'm there saying? We could put Beatles in one area, <laughs> Gia's in one area, buses in one area, there we go. odds in the other. Oh, yeah. So, nice. I like so. it. I like anyway, it. so we already showed him our flyer. Oh, nice. Yeah. And oh, and we've got... That's going to be the t-shirt, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be the back of the t-shirt. This will be the front of the t-shirt. So there you go. You can pre-order those, right? Yep. Yeah. Pre-order. So if you got some odd sizes, let us know so we can get those printed. We're fixing to start printing those here soon. So try to hit us up and get us your orders in so we can add those in because we're only going to do a certain run on those yep so that sounds medium good larges extra larges and two extras primarily yeah yeah so if you want something outside of that let us know so we can get that ordered sounds good so. all right and we've also got field of dreams show coming up yep. september two three four in yorkshire england uh what uh Estridge, es park. Park. <laughs> us yanks can't say it no Oh, well. Oh, man. That's going to be a fun show. Come on out uh, for all our UK and uh, European peeps. Come out and play Stump Street. Are you guys rowing a boat over there? Or are you... No, we're going to take a boat. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I, guess I thought we'd fly this time. Miles, it's, like, you know, it's a long swim. It's a long swim. <laughs> all right, it's hot out here. Can yeah, you guys okay, do the so thing? We can do that thing. Do the okay. thing. Bye, Bye nice, nice people. people.